Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this Linux Ubuntu tutorial, we explain how to kill a process or a program or an application in Linux Ubuntu. Namely, there are several ways to do that. Let's immediately start with the explanation of the first approach. Now, in Linux systems, there is one very important number. This number is called the PID number. PID stands for the Process Identification Number. It's a unique identifier and the number assigned to each process or a sub-process or an application running on a Linux system. On the other hand, we also have a PPID number where PPID stands for Parent Process Identification. This is the process that created a specific PID process. Why PID number is so important? Well, we can simply terminate an application by using one command and by specifying the PID number of that application or of that process. Okay, so let's learn how to do that. Here for demonstration, I'm going to open a gedit. If you don't have a gedit on your system, you can easily install it or you can open some other app as a test. For example, you can open a Firefox, you can see that Firefox is open here, or you can open some other application, you can search it here. For example, you can open LibreOffice or Notepad or something similar, or videos, even this program. So let's open both videos and gedit. Good. Now, over here I'm going to resize this window and I'm going to open a terminal. So click here and search for terminal. And here is our terminal window. The first step is to find the PID number of a specific process. There are several ways to do that. Here for illustration, I'm not going to use the quickest way. However, I'm going to explain you one very important thing. With this command, ps, with the option ef, we can list all the applications and processes that are currently running on our system. So if, if you now press enter, you will see this. You will see this huge list showing all the applications and all the programs currently running on our system. And if you go all the way at the top, you will see the name. The first column is actually uid. This is the user ID of the current application or the process. Then you see the PID number. You can see how the PID numbers are sorted. Then you can see the PPID number. Then this C is not important. Then you can see the start time and you can see this command, which will also give you some additional information about the app. Okay, for example, from where it's being started. Honestly speaking, it's very difficult to find a specific application from this list. To find the application, there are several ways and to find its PID. One of the ways is to do this trick. You can run this command PS EF and then you can use this filtering operator and grab to filter the result. For example, let's try to find gedit. Over here, you will simply type gedit and voila, here it is. We can see gedit, we can see the time it's being started, 22.41, that is 10 o'clock 41 minutes, and we can see PID and we can see PPID, and over here we can see from where we started, that is, we started this application. Perfect, this is very good. Over here we can see the gedit is still active, so, Next, I will explain you another approach for finding gedit. There is a simpler approach by simply typing PID of gedit. That is the PID and the name of the app, and here it is. You will immediately see it. That's another approach. Next, let's learn how to terminate or kill gedit from the command line. Okay, to do that, we need to use the command kill. And here is the syntax. We need to say kill, then we need to specify a signal number. I will explain what is a signal number 
later on and we need to specify the PID number. To kill a process or an application, the signal number should be 9. So if I want to kill gedit, I need to type this, option 9 and its PID, here is the PID of gedit. Simple as that, and look now what will happen, gedit is open, and if I run this, bang, it's being closed. Now if you now type PID of gedit, you'll not see anything since we killed P I D with PID number, we killed gedit, good. We can actually use kill command to send several signals. We can send one for hang up, two for interrupt from keyboard, nine, this is our kill signal, then 15 termination signal. This will allow the program to run, the exit code and stop its processing. And over here we can stop the processes that is to pose them by using 17, 19 and 23. We will explain this later on in our subsequent tutorials. Okay. Now, let me show you another thing. Over here, I have Firefox running, and you can see that there are two tabs open in Firefox. So let's try to write down over here, what is the PID of Firefox? Firefox, okay. So you can see that, okay, I made an error here, Firefox. And you can see over here, these are the old PID numbers. So there are several processes associated with Firefox. Now, in these cases, it's much better to use another approach to kill the process. That is, we can kill the process only on the basis of its name. And this is very important. However, let's once more run the command that will list all the processes running Firefox. So let's practice PS with an option EF and let's say Firefox over here. And you can see over here there are a bunch of things happening. Okay, good. Before we actually learn how to kill the process on the basis of its name, let's again look into what's happening with our Firefox. So consequently over here, let's type this PS EF and over here let's use grep and firefox so let's see what this thing will return it will return a bunch of things pad numbers and no one can read this okay in this type of cases when you want to kill the process that actually runs several processes you can simply kill the process on the basis of its name so you can simply type kill all firefox Okay, and before we actually execute this, let's put it somewhere in the background, my Firefox, and I'm going to open, for example, some other tabs, and I'm going to search who is Albert Einstein, and I'm going to go to Wikipedia, just as a test, or Nobel Prize website. Okay, now let's see what will happen if I run this right now. Bang! Everything is done. Kill Fox, Firefox will kill all the tabs and everything. And again, you need to open Firefox and another things, another few windows will pop up. So let's again practice this. Let's see, now I have even three windows being open. Kill Firefox, bang, everything is being destroyed. This is truly amazing. And let's now search for, for example, PID of Firefox and we will not see anything. However, if I run this thing, I will see PID of Firefox here, again. Oops, I made an error here. Oops, this is not what should I want. And PID of Firefox, we can see all these things. However, let's kill all, bang, everything is being destroyed. This is super powerful. And there is a third approach to kill or to eliminate or to terminate a process. This third approach relies on the command pkill. Okay, so to use pkill, again, you need to find the name of the application. For example, let's run gedit once more and play with, with this test case. So here it is, and you simply need to type pkill gedit, and this will kill it. 
and of course there is this video app running so let's try to find this app again the easiest way to find an app or to find its name is to type something like this ps e e f and then grab video so let's see what happens basically you can see over here that there is a video however this is not the name of the app this is also very very important now let's try to find the name of this app I will simply close it here if you type video or videos here it is and how can you find it you can simply do this and then you can see the time that you actually started this application so we started it at 2255 and then you can actually see who started it over here and you can actually through that identify the application and you can also kill it in that way okay so let's again practice with something else let's for again open several web browsers let's go for example to Albert Einstein web page or whatever then over here let's again type p kill fire fox bang kills everything this is very important okay i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons also on my youtube web page you have more than 700 free video tutorials covering different topics for example, you have a number of tutorials covering topics related to robotics, machine learning and control. Then you also have videos and topics covering mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, mechatronics, applied mathematics and reinforcement learning. Okay, that's all for today and see you in the next video tutorial.